Hey folks, Quill18 here and welcome to Let's Play FTL Faster Than Light, an awesome space roguelike game that is just making huge waves through the internet right now. Uh, it is best known perhaps for the fact that it was one of the first big successful Kickstarter games and uh, got a lot of attention then and it has turned out to be a fantastic fun fun game. So we are going to start ourselves a new game. We've got, uh, I'm pretty sure I've got a couple more ships unlocked here. And uh, I've heard that the Federation Cruiser is pretty good, so I'm going to give it a go. I haven't played a whole lot of games of this, but we're going to see how much we can do. Now, it is a very difficult game, and like most roguelikes, once you die, you're just dead. There's no coming back from that. So we're going to try to just see a how far we can get uh, and uh, hopefully we win but we'll see how it goes um, now wow this Federation cruiser is quite a bit larger than the default ship it looks like and um, other than that oh, it starts with some extra crew we start with a mantis which does double damage in combat has higher move speed not very good at repairing so Emma over here is going to primarily be our security guard we've got Gumpo who's a generic human with no special traits whatsoever we've got Emily a rock man immune to fire and has high health but Damn, they move slow. Again, not bad for security type purposes, but they don't respond to things very well. Uh, maybe Emily will actually work the shield system, is what I'm thinking, because it's nice and central to the ship. And then finally, we've got Ariel, who is an NG, uh, and they are partly organic, possibly, or possibly entirely mechanical, but they're really good at repairing things. They are not very good at fighting at all, so I think we might start her off in the, uh, in the engine room. It's funny that we've got, like, three female names and one male one. We can't move anyone from here, can we? No. All right. So without further ado, let's get started. We're going to be on normal difficulty and go. Now we are playing as a Federation ship that is on the run from a rebel fleet. We are carrying vital information and we have to get to the end. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, move my crew around. That's kind of interesting the way they're placed. Uh, Gumpo is going to be my pilot. Uh, Ariel is going to work the engine system. Emily, I said before, is going to be the shield, and Emma, who is a mantis, is naturally going to be the weapons officer. That seems like a good fit. Uh, we actually, we have two weapon rooms. That is very interesting to me. Weapon room one, weapon room two. Oh no, this is artillery! Automatically fires one damage beam that pierces all shields. So we don't have to target it. Um, and it doesn't look like it is affected by being manned as well. The weapon system should be, there we go. Okay, in fact, we'll turn that on. We can turn off the med bay for now. We'll charge up the, sh the uh, engines to have full maneuverability and faster jump speed. And speaking of jumping, let's get started. Now we're gonna try to clear out as many of these star systems as we can before we jump to the next sector uh, because we should be able to get more uh, experience points, basically, the scraps. Um, and so we always want to try to grab as much as that as you possibly can before moving on. Hmm, black market trader. Well, definitely, you know, well, we, it actually seems kind of rude to attack them. They are in a rebel rigor, though, and so I suspect that they aren't entirely good. And uh, attacking them is going to get us something, whereas ignoring them is not. So let's go ahead and get that started. Oh, wow, he's got a drone right away. The first thing we're going to do is target the shields for sure. There's the artillery. It's pretty slow loading. Um, wow, I'm really interested in using this. The last ship did not have that. So the first priority is to knock down the shields, which you just have. Now, they aren't fully down, um, but I think that's going to be good enough that we could afford to throw the next shot at their weapon system. Our shields just took a hit ourselves, so we definitely want the shield system down. Good. That drone is actually going to be a huge problem, though, until it gets repaired. And frankly, I'm going to go ahead and pull that back right over here. Oh, we got to focus on the shield some more. There we go. Now see if we can take out the drone subsystem. Lovely. Uh, we can't dodge right now because our bridge is out, which is a damn shame. But I think we should be able to win this battle pretty handily there. That drone is done. We'll go back to focusing on the weapons. In fact, the next shot might just kill them outright. And they're going to try to run away, but I'm not too worried. Oh, there's an artillery shot targeted their engine, actually, and it's going to finish them completely. No worries whatsoever. We've got a little bit of scrap, some drone parts, and some missiles, and that's always good. Let's send you over there, and in fact, you actually got hurt a little bit, so we'll turn that off. We'll add power to the med bay as soon as it's up, and we're just going to wait for this to finish so that we can um, send the NG over there to get it repaired a little faster. Good. And power that up. Make sure you're full. Lovely, and then we can depower it as well. And repower the weapons. 
Um, and with that, we're going to jump. I'm not going to spend my scrap to upgrade my ship right away. My top priority for upgrading the ship is getting to level 2 shields. I find it makes such a tremendous difference. It's amazing. And of course, we're going to need a little bit more power to run that as well. Um, but beyond that, I'm really going to be looking to save up some money so that I can buy a second weapon. Because uh, having a little bit more punch is going to be really valuable. Hmm, apparently this sector is empty. Your crew are constantly looking out the windows, checking for hostiles. They jump at every creak and moan of the ship. The tension is almost palpable, but nothing happens. Uh, let's move this way. We should be able to sweep through more stars in this direction. Ooh, this is really bad. There's a rebel scout here. Now, do they have full power? If so, that's quite unfair. So we are in a, uh, a plasma storm in this nebula. So the nebula means we don't have vision inside of our ship, which isn't a huge deal right now, but the plasma storm cuts our power in half, and that is going to be a tremendous problem because we don't actually have enough power to run all of our systems. Um, wow. Well, I guess we can turn on our weapon system if we actually turn off our engines completely, and the artillery, which is a shame, but the artillery is kind of slow, and what we really need to do... Um, I guess we'll start with the shields, as always. This, it seems like a good idea. This is going to be rough. Uh, intruders detected! Oh, man! Alright, so we want to leave the NG behind in the engine room, but the rest of them, we're going to go hunt down the intruders. I'm not sure where they like to spawn, um, or where they're going to go. I'm looking for, like, door motion. Where have they gone? the hell? Oh, there we are. Um, the human, stay where you are. Oh no, there we are. Now they're all coming into the med bay. They do like to target the med bay, it seems. So the nebula is a little bit of a problem. We've got their shields mostly down. There we go. Now all the way down. And then I'm just going to focus on this. Uh, they did teleport back, so, which is good for me. Let's get our guys back where they're supposed to be. You actually stay there for a sec. You go into the weapon system. We should be okay. They're down, so now let's just take out the, uh, the engines. So they can't run. Mm, no, we're not going to accept the surrender. We should be able to get more scrap if we kill them. We'll have to check the numbers. We probably won't get as much fuel and missiles, I think. But we should get more scrap, and I'm more concerned with that right now. We don't even have a missile launcher unless the artillery uses that, but I don't think it says. Oh, let's keep the weapons offline. This next burst should finish them off regardless of where it hits anyway. There we have it. So, um... Is the air getting pink? Are we running out of oxygen? I think that we might be. We probably have a fire on board. There, lots more scrap. No missiles. Oh, we don't have power for the oxygen system. That's the problem. Let's get that back online. We'll also get the med bay back online after because some people have taken some damage. I forgot about that implication. We do need oxygen. Hmm, funny how that works. Uh, and I don't think you've taken any damage, so you can just sit in the engine room. Good, you go back to piloting. You, whoops, no, no, no. You go there, you go to the shields, and you go back over here. I'm actually going to wait for the oxygen to fill a little bit higher before I shove off here. Um, Oh, we actually have to wait for the engines to charge anyway. Which means we need power to the engines. Which I can do that way. There we go. Now we're fully charged. But I still want the oxygen levels to rise. Oh, they're pretty close to the top. Alright, that's going to be fine. So let's make a jump, uh, let's say, to here. Hopefully not another plasma storm. They're really annoying. Um, discover a pirate ship nearby. Strangely scans indicate there are no life forms aboard. You salvage anything useful. Hmm. Little fuel, drone parts, and more importantly, scrap. Alright, that's very good. Let's get these uh, systems looking more the way they're supposed to. Kind of like that. Alright. Rebel fleet is starting to advance, so we need to keep ahead of them. So I'm going to go ahead and move actually forward here. We're not really at a risk yet. Rebel ship patrolling begins its assault. Alright, that's going to be fine. Now we have taken some hull damage, which is another reason we need some scrap, because we need to keep that up. So... Uh, same as ever, we're going to start off with the shields. Other than that, I'm pretty happy with the way we are. I do want to get to those rank 2 shields pretty quickly, but we won't be able to do that yet. Oh, this is Torpedo. They're always bad. Um, there we go. We'll go 
do that. We don't really need the doors going, but... Well, if there's a fire, we might want to suck out the oxygen and put it out quickly. Come on, get those shields offline. Mm, our cameras are down. I don't want to pull my guys out of the weapon system, though. Oh, the shields going down is really bad. Now, the reason I don't pull my guys out of piloting for sure is then we would lose our evasion. And with the engines, that's sort of the case as well. Um, it's not quite as critical, but it's pretty bad. Oh, God, everything is beat up. You know what? Hold on. We will pull them out of the engine, so we lose 5% of our evasion. We've lost our oxygen again, but we can we can live without that for a little while. Uh, the oxygen is actually on fire, though. That's that's less than good. Okay, you finished repairing that? Good. Oh, wait, you're going to die to fire. Hold on, we're going to do a swap. You, Mr. I'm immune to fire, are going to go to the oxygen section. You are going to go and finish repairing the shields. Come on, get get the engines back on board. Oh, the Mantis sucks at repairing, doesn't he? Ah! Oh, this is rough. Okay, shields are back. Good. You go back over here. Oh, there's a fire here. I guess we could have just sucked that out, but we should be okay. Finally, the, end, the lasers are back on board. I think we're going to die here. This is the second... Frickin' fight? Third frickin' fight? We're in the same... We're still in the first sector? This is terrible. Alright, you go... Man, the shields. Repair the oxygen before we all go into space. Oh, the medbay's actually on fire, too. Awesome. You know what? Oh, we don't have an oxygen producer, so if I do this, we're all gonna... Screw it. Work the shields. Knock out those guns. Open this door. I'm going to suck the fire out into space. Which is dangerous to do while we don't have any oxygen, but we're just going to have to deal with it. Guns are down. He's going to try to fly away. What did... Oh! I clicked one to dismiss a message, and then a second message came in to say that they were surrendering. And so I accepted whatever they gave me, but I guess that's not the end of the world. Um, Alright, so... Let's, yeah, stay paused. Fix up everything. Okay, that's, yeah, that's good. So close the doors. Apparently, you are going to die from lack of oxygen over here. Well, my oxygen systems are all the way up. There's nothing I can do about that. I'm going to go and spend an extra power bar there. An extra that there. Shorter cooldowns, that will be really good. Um, right now, this doesn't give me an extra level of shields, but it gives me slightly more protection against damage. Uh, and in fact, I might do the same thing for the um, for the weapon system. Because it sucks when they get taken out early. So just a little bit of system padding there. Um, wow, you... Okay, there's more oxygen here. Good, at least you won't... Uh, you won't die. Everyone go and help him fix the med bay. Good, the med bay is fixed. All right, so you guys are fully healed. So here, here, you're doing shields, and you are going to come in here. Wow, that is really exciting. We are so close to being dead. I need to find a, uh, a store. Still having huge oxygen problems over here. Let's open all the doors just to get that to normalize a little faster. This must have had a complete hull breach over here where it was venting oxygen into space. Alright, everything is back to normal now except that we're about to. Oh, there's two stores. Good. Uh, oh no, we spent all our scrap! Alright, I gotta go here. Hope I get in another fight, a fight that I'm gonna win. Yeah, reject their offer. Alright. Unpower that. Start the normal process. In fact, you know what? Because we can't afford to take any damage, I think it's actually going to be perfectly fine if we target the weapon systems first and just keep it locked down. They can't do anything else. It's not, you know, there's back and forth about the shields. I think we're probably going to be better off, especially right now while the... 
actual level of damage they can inflict on us is, or rather the strength of their shield is so low, it's going to be fine to just focus on keeping their weapon system shut down as much as possible. Oh, that's the problem. Auto fire is turned off by default. I hate that. Someone's really got to do something about that. There we are. So now we're just going to keep focusing on there. And we keep, should keep their weapons just locked down completely. Yeah. We will not accept your surrender. We need maximum scrap. Uh, nope. Keep focusing the weapons. we got to do a little bit more damage. And we're losing some of our damage potential because we have to burn through the shields. There we go. That artillery is super strong. All right, that's a little bit more, which is good. Um, I guess we're going to go here. We don't have a ton of money. And we're going to have to spend it all on repairs. Oh my god, that is terrible. Let's go to this dress call. I'm sure this won't be a trap. You arrive at the distress beacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with pirate markings partially crushed between two large rocks. It must have been illegally mining the belt without proper equipment. I can try to dislodge it or just destroy and loot the ship. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go for that. Even though it's a little bit mean, I just want some free scrap and not much damage. Uh-oh. You decide the pirate is not worth saving and fire a few volleys into their hull. Before you can scrap, uh, yeah, scrap the remains... Or, yeah, the another pirate ship flashes on your radar. Perhaps they saw your deed, or perhaps they want to clean the swells for themselves. But for whatever reason, they're charging weapons. Oh, that's unfortunate. Still just level one shield, so I think we can do the trick where we just try to lock down their weapon system asaply. But we, we desperately need a better weapon. I think this game is going to be a loser. I think this start has just been rough. Oh, God, that is no good. I think they actually have more potent shields. Is that it? Wow! Okay, well, we're gonna try to make the shields a priority, I guess, and hope that our artillery hits something. We need, we need to punch through there. Those shields... Oh, it's because of this ablative effect. That's the problem. Alright, well, we already inflicted a little damage to the actual shield, so let's go ahead and drop another burst in there. There we go. Uh, oh, they're about to come up. Let's hopefully the artillery gets a good hit somewhere. I'm trying to escape. No. Yeah, okay. Hit their weapon system once. Sweet. That artillery, when it goes off, it is sick good. Hey, anti personnel drone. We don't have a drone system yet, but we've got some more scrap, which is really important. Um, trying to figure out the rate of advancement of the rebels. I want to hit as many systems as possible, and I'm going to try to... Is this a good rate? I think so. I think we were paying, what, three for one before? I think this is an improvement. Alright, let's do it. I'm not sure. I wasn't really paying attention. Clearly, I have to do that. Alright, now we're going straight for the exit. Oh, the sun is really bad. Because we're going to have fires all over. Alright, he doesn't have the ablative armor, so definitely go straight for the weapons. Oh, he's got a drone too. Yeah, this is actually going to be really bad. Really mega super bad. As soon as there's a flare. I've been in situations where I wasn't able to escape from one of these flare suns before. Where I couldn't keep up with the damage. Okay, open. And open that. Put out those fires that way. Not being able to see is actually going to be a huge problem with all the fires that are going to pop up. I haven't really missed the weapon system that much. Who do I want to pull off to fix that? I guess we're going to pull off the engines. Send him here. He's going to go through. No oxygen area, but there we are. Alright, weapon system offline. Good, hit the drones next. Ooh, no dodging for me. You can go into the med bay. Put a little bit of energy in there. Solar flare imminent. Uh, Alright, that's turned off. Good. And just finish him off like that. It's going to be fine. In fact, the artillery will finish him off. We can close this and get our oxygen back there. You are fine, so yeah, you can come here, we can close all the doors, and looks like we're mostly okay. And we can do a jump right away, which is good. Get out of there before there's another solar flare. Whew! 
intense. Hmm, yeah, we're definitely gonna attack the pirate, even though we're still a little hurt. Standard operating procedure. Everything should be fine. I think some of the problems earlier on is because I forgot the auto fire. I'm sure, I fully expect there'll be a patch of the game where they give you an option to remember that you want auto fire on all the time. Or just have it default on, which seems like the smarter thing. It's the people who want more manual control that won't be quite as bothered by, by having to adjust it. Uh, let's finish the shields out right before we go back to the weapon system. Come on, oh, that's right, it goes away right away as soon as I do that. No. Just finish the shields in time. I think we're gonna be we're in fine shape though. We shut down their torpedoes for long enough. Um, no, that's not enough. We want more, more, more. Okay, when that artillery fires, it's awesome. We're clearly gonna want to upgrade that. Oh, that's not a lot of scrap. Oh, appreciate what you've done. I'll give you another ship. Sorry, we can't give you more. So more stuff is good. A repair arm. I believe is really good. Yeah, it eats some of our scrap every time, um, but repairs us, which is not bad. Is not bad at all. Um, I'm really potentially to put some more points into the artillery beam since it's so powerful. Although, I really have to get the shield system up to the second level. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. That is going to save us so much overall. We don't have quite enough power, though, even if we turn that off. I guess I could take down the engines by one. It hurts our, our evasion. But having level 2 shields is going to be incredibly strong. So we're going to do that. And you know what? We've got enough time to hit this system and then backtrack to the exit. And there's nothing here. Fun. The, the other big thing with getting the shields up is it really minimizes how much hull damage you're going to take. Oh! There's a large asteroid field nearby. Short range scanners may discover useful materials while we wait for the FTL to charge. Sounds good. What are the odds of surviving an asteroid field anyway? Oh, nothing of interest. Next sector. Where do we want to go? Uncharted Nebula or a Mantis controlled sector? Um, the Mantis are always really dangerous. But the Nebula has its own challenges as well. Um, I'll go to the Nebula. Sounds like fun. Okay. We will go. I'm going to go this way and then hope I can go through the sort of southern part of the Nebula. Meant the ship. Alright. What are they rocking? Oh, they're gonna teleport over. I keep wanting to focus on the teleportation thing just to like screw them from their ability to bring their, their guys back. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna keep going with the standard thing. We'll just have to deal with them when they land here. Which they do instantly. There's no way for me to stop the first one. So here they are here. They're probably just going to go for that the med bay again, since that seems to be their favorite thing to do. I should have left my NG in the piloting area. Or no, the door control? Door control. Ooh, this is going to be, um, it's going to be a little rough. Okay, weapons down. Good. Not all the way. No, take out their weapons entirely. Alright, we need to, since their weapons are down, I can take this down a notch, re-energize the med bay, and then send these guys over here. If they want to engage me in the med bay, that is fine. They're just going to get screwed. In fact, now we can hit their teleportation thing, maybe. Oh, there they are. Okay, now they want to engage me in the med bay. Oh, I didn't stop them from going home. That's too bad. So, you go there, and Emma back in the weapon system, and we're in good shape. Our oxygen system is offline. Oh. That's less than good. Is it on fire? No. Alright, we're fine. Back over here. There we are. And all systems are operating the way they should, like so. Oh wait, nope, nope, no, no. We do want to take the engines down one step, bring the shields back up. Okay. Store right away. We don't have any money, but I guess we're still gonna go in that direction, unfortunately. Kind of we're kind of in a stuck kind of corner. Um, there's many things that I want, but we're just gonna have to spend it on hull repair. 
even though we sort of have the whole auto repair thing, we still need to get ourselves back up there. I would want weapons, I want lots of these things, and we're, we're just going to have to leave it behind. Hmm. Nothing exciting here. This is actually a really crappy sector. Maybe I should have gone to Manti Space. I have a lot of missiles, though. Yeah, we're definitely going to attack the pirate. That's fine. Uh, in fact, uh, no, I guess I do want to turn off his torpedo. No, that's not a torpedo. That's one of those uh, splashy, splashy laser things. So I don't think they can actually get through our shields. Although, no, apparently they timed things very well there. Uh, you go ahead and repair this, assuming it's not on fire. I'm trying to escape. We refuse your offer. We took out your weapons already. Good. Just take out their, their engines and we should be fine. Nice. 30 scrap. Now that's what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah. Wow, we gotta move forward, like, ASAP. We really need to get another weapon system, though. Uh, trade them... Trade away fuel for missiles. No, we don't need missiles right now, and... Running out of fuel is really bad. Smuggler? Yeah, attack the pirate. Take out their weapon systems right away, and then sit back and laugh. Should be an easy fight. I was really concerned at first. But yeah, they, they can't even get through our shields, so they're just dead. It really depends on what kind of weapons they're packing, like in and how they fire and in what combination. There we are. They are 100% deceased, especially as soon as this fire. Pierces all shields, yeah. Getting that leveled up. That is going to be strong, actually. Maybe we don't need to worry about so many other weapons. Nope. We want scrap more than anything else. And we get more of that when we blow you out of the sky. Now, we could make much more money if we got a teleporter ourselves, send our troops over there to kill all their people. Um, oh, they're transporting prisoners. Oh. Oh, well. Not my concern. Scrap is what I want. Navigating the blind fog, you practically bump holes with the Mantis ship. They hail you. Pa, this transgression will be overlooked, Nebula. Nebula, very dangerous. Next time, humans all die. Um, no. No next time. They're going to teleport over. Again, they like to hit this. This? No. They go down here. Ah, the O2. Keep their weapon systems low. These guys are going to get better and better at fighting. Oh. I say that, and they're getting their butts kicked. Okay. You two come in here and replace them in the oxygen system. Even though you have no hit points and no skills, you should be okay. And we're going to... You know what? We can't pilot anyway. We're going to unpower the engines. We've got their, their uh, weapon systems down, so they can't do anything regardless. Get them in the shields. You come back over here. You go back over there. You come in here. You there. Hit them in the weapon system again. You go back to piloting. And you go back there. See, so yeah, I'd like a little bit more power. But I really think I've got to save this stuff up. I could even unpower the oxygen in mid-fight if I really needed to. It's probably not a great thing to do all the time. It's better if you have the oxygen ranked up because you can um, you can re-oxygenate oxygenate everything much faster. Uh, we've got a bunch of ablative shields to get through. It looks like they have torpedoes. No, we're, we're going to go for the other uh, weapon system right away. I think this is the torpedo thing. I'm not sure. No, I guess it's the, that other laser. No, there we go. Torpedo. Ah, right in the O2. Let's go and get that sorted. Oh, wow. Uh, no. Yes. Go back over here. In fact, what I should probably do is help them fix the shields as much as possible. But I don't know, the evasion has a lot of value as well. There we go. Take their weapons off temporarily. Focus on their shields. 
and then just hit, keep hitting them in the guns. Mmm, no. Uh, let's check out the sector. Still no store. So I will give us one more power bar. That way I can keep my engines fully powered at the same time as my shields. And we will make... Um, I'm going to go here because it'll show us more neighboring systems just on the off chance we can pull something off. Damaged Federation ship hiding in the nebula. Um, no, of course we're going to try to help them. Ah, failed. All right, we'll go here and then come back to the exit. And there's nothing there. I don't want to risk any more. Let's go to the exit. I don't think I can make it back on time if I delve deeper. Yeah, no. We just have to run. Okay, but we're in good shape. Next sector. Uh, Zoltan Worlds or Rock Controlled? I, I have a rock guy, so I bet you we can do some cool stuff if I go to the rock sector. Rock girl, Emily. Assuming rocks have genders. Mm, straight down the middle. You inform a nearby station of your flight from the rebels. They offer to outfit your ship with a weapon and wish you well. Pegasus missiles for free and scrap? Whoa, that needs a lot of energy. Fires two missiles, two damage each, pierces all shield. That's really fracking strong. I mean, you burn through your missiles fast. Um, but that's going to be really good later on when we start to run into things that, um, that have really heavy-duty shields. We can charge this up, fire one shot out, and then switch to the burst lasers after we take out their, their shields. That is actually a stupendously good find. Um, I'm going to go here and then backtrack to the store, just to get a little bit more scrap. Small craft, minimal propulsion, it's rock crew members explain that the rock homeworld is run on lies and propaganda that keep the populace in check, and that they want no part of it. Tell them their god sent them here to join your crew, or a promise to share with them the truth they've been denied. Yeah, join my crew. Is that an option? Is that really going to work? I've never seen this event before. The truth. What does this mean? Can I, like, do I get a quest out of it, maybe? I could use some extra crew, though. Traitors to truth. You're no better than them. Ah, uh, oh well. Oh, see, now these guys have double shields. You see that? So, if I... Say, I gotta knock something down again. I think I want to. So let's charge up the Pegasus missiles, hit them right in the shields with that, and then we'll switch to the burst laser. Oh, it's going to take a long time to charge up, though. Nice miss. Good dodge. And your Asian chance can get really quite high um, once you get... Um, okay, that's, that's a way. So we can turn that off and switch that over there and repower the engines. Uh... Oh, these guys are damaged. I didn't realize that. Um, your evasion chance can get really high once you um, your your guys get really skilled. They're actually going to be quite good at dodging. Um, no. Need one more hit to knock their uh, weapons completely offline, and uh, yeah, I can actually stop the dodging and send these this guy here heal a little bit. Okay. Hit them in the engines, just make sure they can't run, not that it's really going to be an option. Finally, the artillery goes up and just finishes them off. Alright. Let's start by charging that for our next stop. You are fully healed. Yes, no? No, what? What happened to my power? Oh! That takes more power. Sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Back over here, turn you off, charge you up. And jump. It won't pre-charge, it won't keep it. Um, but then it starts charging right away in the next encounter if we need it. Oh, fireplace. A rock ship. Even out here you follow us. Only wish to be left alone. Alright, same same thing. Pegasus missiles to their shields. And sit tight. Oh, I didn't realize we had lost something up there. Um... I'm going to wait till their first salvo goes off. That's not going to be a high priority to, uh, 
to take that out, even though it's a little bit of an, a cost of our oxygen system. I want maximum evasion here. Good job. Well done. There's those away. So now the burst lasers hit them in the weapons. One miss is bad. All right, focus on their shield system. At least it's been weakened, which is good for my lasers. Solar flare imminent. Oh, our dodging is totally off. There's not much I can do about that. Need to come over here. Uh, turn on that. Nope. Don't get vented into space. Don't do that. Why can't... You know what? I'm just going to click on you from over here. Go there. Alright, their shields are totally offline. Now hit them in the weapons. Uh, you know what? Hold on. You just stay in the shield room. We'll just prevent this. It's going to be fine. They keep hitting us in the uh, the pilot air. Solar flare imminent. Okay, you're set. So go back to the engine room. Um, that's still going to be okay. We can just vent that into space. Finish them off. Now we just need the fires to be over. That's a lot of scrap. Come on, fires, go out so we can leave. I guess we could leave as is. Uh, you know what? I want to jump before the solar flare hits. Let's hit the store. I think we're still going to arrive on fire, but that's going to be okay. Rock tolerate few aliens in their space, but even they seem to respect the wisdom of the Zoltan. Hmm, trading post, yes. So, we have 110. We get some extra crew. Now, Zoltan are really interesting because they offer one unit of power in the, uh, in the thing that they sit which is effectively, I mean, they're more expensive. Well, yeah, they're probably crappy, actually. Because I think it's only one unit, and 25 scrap gets us an upgrade to our uh, reactor, so what's the purpose of these guys um, when they, they're going to sit around with less health? Maybe we should get Mr. Roper over there. I'm going to sell... Um, See, that's handy. This is handy. Stealth weapons, not so much right now. Oh, man. Do I want to go and get drone systems? I don't think I'd want to, actually, yet. I'm going to sell these things. Sell off the drone bits. That's going to help us. And instead, I will get the scrap recovery arm. 10% more scrap is very handy. We're going to hire Roper. We're going to fix all of our damage, and we're going to get some extra fuel. Oh, God. Yeah, stamp that stuff out. Roper, you go and help him. Okay, good. Close all the doors. The oxygen system's going to refill itself. Roper's going to be positioned... You know, and the shield system's not a bad idea. Although, people keep teleporting in kind of over here. I could... How much experience does Emily have? Oh, quite a bit, actually. So I was going to say I could move them around or change them up or something. Um, we do need some extra power, though. There we go. Because that way I can keep my, my Pegasus missiles and my engines at full. I, can, I only need to take down the engines by one if I need heals right away or when the Pegasus missiles are offline. So then that'll, that'll kind of work out. I'm a little bit more comfortable doing that. Because um, everywhere that can be enhanced by someone has someone. Actually, it should almost be that um, Ariel, my engine expert, should actually be my roaming repair person. She's really good at engines, though. But that actually makes a lot of sense, because she repairs so much faster. I'll put her sort of central to the ship. I lose some of my engine XP, but I think this is good, because that way I can have her roam and repair. All right, I like it. Um, it sucks to revisit an area, but I guess we're just going to have to. And Gerda Hill is moving closer to the exit. Mm, disabled rock freighter drifts in space while two mantis craft battle it out, presumably over who deserves the spoils. Wait, then attack the surviving one. I like it. May have their differences, but when it comes to you, they have one mind. Smaller ship suffers a power failure as it moves to engage with the larger one. Let's off a volley of fire and continues to attack. All right. Hit it in the shields with the Pegasus missiles. Intruders detected. 
fighting the rock ones. Well, let's get the mantis in there. And I guess you as well. Even though you're not as good. Still firing the Pegasus missiles. Oh god. I'll go up here. And I'll come back here before they destroy the shields. Did I fire those? Did I miss? They're all going to run back in a second. There we are. Okay. Um, everyone go and heal up, I suppose. It's actually top priority. Happy I didn't get my shield system, though. Because I don't think I've taken any damage, or at least I haven't taken much. Alright. Missiles away. Switch to burst lasers. There we go. Right in the shields. Uh, Emma weapons. Emily shields. Ariel, yes, yeah, stay around there. You're going to be on roving duty. Turn that off. Go back to full engines. D-E-D -E -D dead. Hmm. I could go there and there very easily. Could I go and do a triple? I think I can. I'm, I'm definitely taking a risk here. I might have to fight some rebellion ships. Hello, traveler. Hmm. Mercenary work. Sure. Space dock is under assault by the rebels, although the dock is technically illegal with their laws, very important for our trade. Sure. Add new marker. Uh, I'm, well, I can swing that. I might have to fight the rebels here, but I'm kind of willing to do that in order to finish the, uh, the quest and see what that does. Mm, yeah, search for the ship under distress. Well, a little bit of free loot. Oh, okay, We're, we should be okay. As long as we can warp from the next system to the exit, we shouldn't have to fight the rebels. Engage the rebels, rescue the space dock. Fire there. And we're good to go. As long as they don't have uh, torpedoes, no, they do. See, that's why we come with these guys, though. Fix the O2. Sucks that we can't dodge right now, but we should be fine. O2's on fire. Shit's on fire, yo. Oof. Heal thyself. Okay, shield's down. Pop him properly. Oh, damn. <gasps> I lost my pilot. Oh, I didn't... I wasn't paying attention to the fact that they were really, really, really hurt. Okay, evacuate the engine room. Come over here, because what we're going to do is open all these. I guess I don't. I only need to do one side. I don't think it actually accelerates the rate that it loses its oxygen. So we're not dodging at all right now, but we still have our shields. It's those, uh, it's those torpedoes that really hurt the worst. Come on, go out. There we are. Close the door. All right, so I no longer have a pilot, although, Roper, congratulations, you're going to be... Oh, you were working the engines. I guess it's going to be the NG is actually going to go and be the new pilot. No, that doesn't make any sense. The NG's got the experience for the engines, so flip around that way. I don't know what we did to anger the rebels, but you were, they were ready to kill us. Yay. Some scrap and some trade. See, we can do the teleporter thing. And buy some drones. Well, we can buy drone control and some drones. It's an idea. I don't need to repair because we're auto repairing pretty well there. Um, at this point, we're not going too bad actually. We could just go for upgrades instead. Like we've got sh a shield piercer, which is good. We've got the artillery, which is good. We actually don't need any more um, any more weapon systems. We do need to keep up on torpedoes. A little bit more fuel. I'd like to actually sell our, all our drone parts. Maybe we should. You know, I will have to go and commit to a drone thing at some point. But today is not that day. Because what I prefer doing is just upgrading my ship. I don't think I need to go to level 3 shields quite yet. Um, I think what I'd rather do is put in some artillery beam points. Which, yeah, does need more power. Um, so let's go ahead and put an extra power in there. Like so. 
Um, and actually, before I depower the med bay, let's go and send these guys over here. Let them get topped off. Send them back here. And Roper Wright is the new pilot. Open all the doors just to equalize the oxygen again. Turn off the med bay. Turn on the Pegasus weapon system. And close the doors. Jump! There's another store, but we don't have any money. And we need to make it to the exit before the rebels reach us. Continue. Oh! An key personnel drone. Alright, well, that's handy. Still need the controller. Uh, NG or rebel? We have an NG, so we're gonna go there. We're, obviously, we're gonna avoid the rebel sector. That's the only thing that makes any sense. Unless we're going after a particular achievement or, or quest or something. So I'm gonna go a little deeper right away, rather than dawdle near the start. There's plenty of star systems to explore. You've arrived near an NG construction yard. Most NGs maintain their bipedal appearance out of habit, but here you see a number of NG hives working together to create massive organic machines adept at building ships. Truly a sight to behold. And that's it. And a store, but we don't really have the money. Let's go deeper. We need to go deeper. See a number of NG space stations and fleets nearby. Despite looking like piles of junk loosely tied together, they are actually a model of efficiency. They just lack a certain aesthetic emphasis in their construction. Well, uh, damn it! It's gonna be the least eventful sector in the universe. I mean, that's the part of what you get in a friendly sector. Oh, a heavy ion beam can hit and disable shields as well as systems. Very potent. And ah, I hope that didn't screw anything up. I just got a pop up on my computer. All right, we should be back here. Um, I don't think I'm gonna. Oh man. It is cheaper, and it can hit and disable shields. Yeah, that is actually really, really potent. Although this actually does damage to the system itself. It takes longer to charge, though. I think it's a good backup, but we're not going to use it quite yet. No, we're not going to the stores right now. It is cheaper. Hmm, rebel ships have been patrolling. All right, well, that's fine. attack there as per usual so let's do this thing send our actual combat troops it's gonna hurt our fire ability nice dodge thank you a little bit more XP over here engines taken down a notch but that's fine uh, shields taken down a notch is less than fine. We're going to heal up here, and they're going to come and attack us. No, they're going for oxygen control, but we should be able to finish them off pretty easily. Um, I left that going on too long. There we go. Now they've escaped. So now you go here, you go here, and we can actually do without the engine dodge bonus for a little while while we repair there. more hull damage, which sucks. No, no surrender. You go and heal. Actually got a lot of hurt people. And then Emily can go back here. In fact, even Roper's taking damage. There we go, more scrap parts and a little bit of auto repair. Oh, and our oxygen system is offline. So everyone's gonna be hurt very soon. You know what, we're going to try with the, the heavy ion cannon for a little while. You can go back over there. We'll give it a go. We'll see how we feel. Distress call stores. Well, we'll go to this distress call, and then we'll swing back to that store. Maybe we'll finally pick up that drone control. Uh, oh, this thing again. Yeah, shoot at the rocks. Hey, free stuff. And then hit up the store. Oh, we can actually use more fuel. All right, fire beam. Oh yeah, starts fires. Fire bomb. Okay, drone control. And we need, we need fuel. 
So it came with a defense drone, which I actually like a lot. It can shoot down missiles and also asteroids, but the missiles are good because they're one of the they're the only thing that can really get through the shields. We do need more energy though to be able to support all this, so we're gonna look into that soon enough. But we can uh, we can take off again. And we don't need to go to the exit quite yet. We'll go here. Seems to connect to more sectors. Fire that. Intruders on board. Oh god, right into the weapon system. It's actually most inconvenient. Let's send more people there. We have to pull back with Emma shortly. Alright, have I taken their shields off and on yet? I don't think so. Shields are totally off. That is no good. We've got to kill the last intruder. There we go. And send everyone here to get them back online. And... Okay. There's the ion going away. It's interesting. I'm not convinced it's the right way to go. I kind of like the Pegasus missiles a lot more. And I have the energy for it right now because all my stuff is offline. Including the oxygen, which I guess we'll go and work on that here. Engines, ugh. Oh my god, we're taking so much damage. Okay, Ariel, go here. Roper, pilot the ship. Oh, we can't do that without engines. Keep maintaining the shields, because obviously that's pretty important. If we can't dodge things yet, you can't, you can't pilot without engines. Nice slice across there, actually. That was really handy. No internal cameras, but we can live without that for a tiny bit. Um, you go man the weapon system. You go help fix the engines. We need those back online. Okay, you can go pilot. Roper, go pilot now that the engines are partially back up. Okay, their shields are properly gone, so now hit them in the weapon system. ASAP. -like. Oh man, our weapon system's down. Fix it! These guys are way too smart. Okay, med bay is down, but we can live without it. Come on, second rank. Go, go. Burst lasers. Hit them in the shield some more. Need to keep that down. Repair what systems we can. Artillery went off again, which is actually going to be handy. Oh my god, we just died! Oh no! How did this guy kick our ass so much? They had a lot of weapons. Oh, score is only 1560. Still, if you haven't played FDL yet, it's really inexpensive. It's only $10. And uh, if you enjoyed watching this, you'll enjoy playing the game quite a bit. And so my challenge to you guys is try to score better than me uh, on hopefully your first game of the, the Federation ship. And leave a comment down below. We'll see who can do the best. Uh, of course, I didn't win here, so I certainly didn't max out my highest possible score, but I'm sure you guys can do much, much better. Anyway, that is it, folks. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.